Hello, and welcome to this episode of In Discussion With from Pharmacy Update Online. Today, I'm talking to Iris Lafeber about 3D printing of tablets for paediatric patients. Please, could you start by introducing yourself? Um, I'm Iris Lafeber. I'm a pharmacist by background, and currently I am doing my PhD research at the Leiden University uh, Medical Center in uh, Leiden, the Netherlands, um, on 3D printing of uh, personalized pharmaceuticals. And uh, it's a very broad research topic. Uh, <laughs> um, so I've been involved in this uh, topic for now about five years, I think. Yeah. And could you give us a brief overview of your your role, what your current position involves? So, of course, as a PhD, you do a lot of research, so that's the main part of my job. Um, it's uh, it's very broad, so it's on 3D printing of pharmaceuticals, and uh, I do research on the uh, drug product development, on the technical development of the printer, but also uh, societal impact uh, research, uh, and of course, uh, clinical research, uh, which is the topic of today. Um, so, and uh, then I also do educational, um, yeah. Uh, work uh, in this topic. So that's uh, a lot of fun. Now, you gave a presentation at the JERPAC Congress this year entitled Determination of the Bioequivalence of 3D Printed Tablets for Pediatric Use. And I want to ask you more about this project. But first, could you tell us in simple terms, what is 3D printing and how can it be applied to medicines? So 3D printing is um, building a prototype basically from a three or from a computer model. Um, so it has been used since the 80s, I think, uh, so already a long time. And it was um, used in a wild, wide range of, uh, of fields uh, to easily and quickly make prototypes. So it's a manufacturing technique which uh, makes uh, one of a kind, really, of a product. Um, so, and that's also something that we would want in the pharmaceutical healthcare because no patients are all the same. So uh, while the pharmaceutical industry is really specialized in uh, making good quality me uh, medicines uh, based on a one-size-fits-all principle, uh, not all patients benefit equally from that medication. So they might benefit more from personalized um, products, which is uh, what the 3D printer is perfect for to uh, produce. Mm. And why is 3D printing particularly suitable for pediatric doses? Pediatric patients, um, they especially need different doses than is being produced by the pharmaceutical industry. Um, so, for instance, the pharmaceutical industry, they typically make tablets, which can be too large uh, for the pediatric patients to swallow. They can have the wrong dose. Um, so, um, at this point, um, pharmacists struggle to get the right medication to uh, the pediatric population. So, um, they compound a lot of medication at the moment. Um, but um, that's also very laborious and time intensive. Uh, so that's why 3D printing could be especially suitable uh, for pediatric doses, because it can produce uh, the correct dose for a pediatric patient uh, without the extra labor that is needed when compounding, for instance, an oral solution. 